Elizabeth and Smart was born on November 3, 1987, in Salt Lake City, Utah, U.S., to Edward and Lois Smart. Hers was a middle-class religious family. Her family ardently followed the faith of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. She was the second eldest child in the family and had five siblings, one sister and four brothers. Her father was a successful real estate businessman, and her mother was a homemaker. Elizabeth grew up as a usual teenager. She was shy, obedient, and smart. She had a keen interest in music, and the harp was her favorite instrument. She aspired to become a musician upon growing up. She played the harp at local events and funerals. She also played at the annual fall concert in Salt Lake City. She attended the Bryant Middle School while making a name as a budding harpist. She later joined the East High School, located in Salt Lake City. She was academically good and also had an interest in athletics. She was a distance runner, too, and had participated in cross-country racing. She was all set to graduate high school and pursue college, but her dreams were shattered in 2002, when she faced an incident that changed her life forever. Who is Elizabeth Smart? Elizabeth Smart is an American child safety activist and TV commentator, best known for her infamous kidnapping that occurred in 2002. She was born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, and her name was all over the news when, at 14, she was abducted from her house by Brian David Mitchell. It was later revealed that she had been held captive in his house in Salt Lake City for nine months. During this time, she was repeatedly raped and abused by Brian, while his wife, Wanda helped him with his activities. Elizabeth was rescued by Utah police in March 2003. Wanda and Brian were both found guilty, and Brian was sentenced to two life terms in May 2011. Wanda was sentenced to 15 years in prison for her role in the kidnapping. Elizabeth thus became a public figure and made multiple TV appearances, giving interviews. She also became an activist, working against sexual abuse and helping the cause of missing persons. The 2003 TV film The Elizabeth Smart Story portrayed the whole ordeal. She has since been the subject of many books and films.